Okay, so here we're going to look at some more examples involving integration of some trig functions where we first have to do some substitution. So um, in part A here, we have secant of cosine times tangent of cosine uh, times sine x. So the first thing, you know, again, kind of the things that I see here, um, the first thing that kind of makes me nervous is I see the secant of cosine tangent of cosine, and that's kind of a quote-unquote, I guess, strange function. Um, but I know if it was just secant of something and tangent of something, just a single variable, I know the antiderivative of secant x times tangent x, for example. So that tells me, hey, maybe if I make this into a single variable by doing a u substitution, uh, as long as it's du is in the problem, and well, if the derivative of cosine is sine, um, it looks like everything would work. So if we let u equal cosine x, du would be negative sine x, dx, and to get a positive sine x, we can just multiply both sides by negative 1, and now we can just fill everything in. It says we would have secant of u times tangent of u, and then our sine x dx, we can replace all of that with our negative 1 du, and well, the antiderivative of secant times tangent uh, is just secant of u plus c. And now, again, we can just plug our substitution back in. So we would get secant of cosine x, all of that, plus c.